Federal Reserve Chair Ben Bernanke is Time's 2009 Person of the Year, selected for his sure hand on the controls of our economy. Well, you know who Ben Bernanke is? Who couldn't escape his mug last year? But go ahead, admit it. Do you really know what the Federal Reserve does? People use words like mysterious and magic when they talk about the Fed, in part because it's pretty hard to explain. Imagine, it's two, two banks in one. It's the government's bank, but it's also the bank of the bankers. That gets pretty complicated. Don't even get me started on the flow chart. It creates our money, it regulates our financial institutions, and it influences our economy. That's a pretty tall order. It, it's a weird organization, because at some level, it is this mystical temple that creates our money, but at another, it's just a bunch of people like you and me trying to figure out how to do their jobs in an ever-changing financial world and not really knowing how to do it. That's Justin Fox, Time's own curious capitalist. He's our go-to guy in the economy. Okay, Justin, let's make it even more simple. What if we boiled the Fed down to one thing, job number one, what would it be? Basically, preserving the value of the dollar. Along with that, the Fed has twin mandates, keeping inflation at bay and keeping employment stable. So you're probably wondering, what's in the Fed's bag of tricks? Back to Justin. It doesn't really have any tricks to meet the twin mandates. All It, it has tricks to adjust and, and do whatever it wants to to the value of the dollar because it can create dollars out of thin air. No tricks? Oh, come on, money out of thin air? Sounds like magic to me. Okay, that's magic. And they do it in this really simple way. It's just down at the New York Fed, um, which is this big building down on Wall Street. There are a bunch of people who call up banks and say, hey, I want to buy some um, bonds from you. And when the Fed buys, say, $20 million worth of debt securities, they basically have this magic checkbook. The Fed just suddenly says, okay, we're sending you $20 million. That, those dollars suddenly show up in the bank's books, but those dollars weren't anywhere before. It wasn't like the Fed actually had this stash of dollars in its checking account. Eh, uh, that magic checkbook? Don't try this at home. Only the Fed gets the magic checkbook. Think of the chair as a financial Gandalf. That is the great mystical power we bestow upon the Federal Reserve System. Another great and mystical power, interest rates. The Fed can raise or lower interest rates. Think of them like levers on the economy. The whole idea is they're trying to stimulate business activity when they lower interest rates and they're trying to rein it in a little bit when they raise them. But that's in a normal year. The whole difficulty with this whole discussion is that for the past year, the Fed has been in totally different territory. Basically, the interest rate is between zero and a quarter percent. They're not really trying to manipulate that. They're simply trying to keep the financial system from falling apart. Which brings us to Ben Bernanke, Time's 2009 Person of the Year.